so my first summer as a cabin counselor, you know, like you're doing the thing. You're a cabin counselor. You're making sure you've got your campers and you're going to the activities and you're having fun and you're helping campers make friendships and you're on this team of people getting it done for camp and for our kids in this experience. And it'd be a great summer. And then the last week of camp came on and it was sickle cell camp. And um, I didn't know a lot about that illness. And so camp really taught me about the challenges that our campers with sickle cell face. And that last week of summer camp in my cabin um, with, my, with the team that was supporting our campers were, I think there was like eight of them and they were like seven and eight years old. And they were just so pumped to be at camp, like so ready for it. They were like getting off the bus, like running to the cabin. They were so excited, it was their first time. And they were like ready to do the thing. And the theme was superhero week. And so at some point during the week, we like make capes, right? And they write their names on them and they've got all these like superhero powers. And we talk about kindness and we talk about doing things for the very first time. And those campers that week helped me understand camp because what I saw were campers that were in a lot of pain. And when I saw um, the first camper in my cabin have a crisis, um, that's really hard. And our campers are in a lot of pain and to have our medical team help them and then have them be able to continue with camp and to celebrate camp and just really have an awesome time. I've been going through the summer and had a good summer and the campers have had a good time, but that week really made me see camp in a very different way. It was like the light bulb that like, oh, we're not here for swimming or archery. We're here so kids can do things that they never thought they could do. They made friends with each other, and it was the first time that they had met someone else that had their illness of their age, right? And they're seven and eight, and they're experiencing something that nobody in their school knows about, they're, that most people don't know about, unfortunately, at the time. By the end of the week, they, it was like high energy all week. And by the end of the week, the mantra was to just scream at the top of your lungs, best week of our lives and they'd like put their little hands in the middle and they'd have their little superhero capes on and they would like scream everywhere, best week of our lives. And you had to say it three times to make sure it like really counted, right? And um, I know that those kids changed my life and I had the opportunity to like actually watch them grow up through camp and watch them become young adults and to experience camp in all the different ways and then to see many of them come back and volunteer and uh, to see that whole full circle of camp is a gift that isn't lost on me, that I know is a privilege to be a part of.